All right. Hi, everybody. This is the Thaw Station Tech Talk. Um, no, not Tech Talk. This is a Sprint Demos. And there's only one demo today. This is Thaw Search UI Compare tab. And this is a new feature in Thoth Search. We can get right into it. So one of the pieces of this feature is to separate the need to have a pip file.lock in a advise report because sometimes they're required, sometimes they're not, depending on the source you're doing it from. So those are no longer, a pip file lock is no longer needed. And with that, now we can do a couple new things. One is you have a history tab. So now you can see the history of your advise runs, their current status and some like distinguishing details. Let's go into this one maybe, yeah. So this will just go into the general uh, advice. We go to the new compare tab and it gives us this comparison screen. Now, right now it's comparing it with itself. So it's nothing too interesting, but we can go into another advice, which is just the history. So if we, when we saw the history, this is just the same thing, except in this pull down tab. So this is a different advice report we ran. And then we can see the comparisons, yellow meaning they are the same uh, key but different value so you can see the different limits different recommendation types and then you can go down and look at the results you see the states accepted and the red and the, the red and the green distinguish if it's an added or removed so this is a removed from the pip file this was added to the pip file you see this going down the most interesting I think is the pip file dot locks you can see the differences in between them and their versions See, they both had this package except different versions. Um, you can go down and look at runtime environment. You can look at uh, manifest changes, stack info, see similarities and differences. Um, yeah, you can see both are using this platform, both the same CPO family of unknown. That's that. Now, if we go back, there's if you did do a run with a lock file such as was it this one i think this is the one with the lock file yeah so nope that was the other one if you did an advise with a lock file you can compare the original lock file which was the one you provided so this is a little bit more slimmed down because the lock file is doesn't have all the other parameters such as metadata but you do have things like you can see they both started with the same packages but this one has another source this one had two sources this is the thoth advise lock file and this is the original one so thoth added a, uh, a source and you can see all the differences it removed the package it changed a bunch of versions and there's some added there's some packages that were in the original that aren't in the um, in the Thoth advised version of it. And then you can see the runtime environment is the same. So yeah, that, those are the things you can do with this new compare tab. It allows you to compare things in a little bit more straightforward way instead of having to go through a bunch of metrics to compare them. And I think that's it for this demo session. That's nice. Uh, thanks for that one. Uh, just uh, one question. I think the the overall theme is to make our uh, information more accessible, right? Because it's a very well known view, like the the comparison with added and removed lines and stuff like that, um, so that we can basically get a quicker glimpse on what did TOS do, what what is what is changing by using Toth on your software stack. Uh, that is the focus here, right? Right, yeah. So this, there's many different ways you can go and compare to see what Thoth did, except if you are a user that kind of just wants, I want to see the GitHub comparison in a way, this will give you the, it's still organized. You can see it's organized mm. by headers and it's not just a giant JSON file but mm -hmm. you are still getting just a very straightforward comparison. Yes.
Nice. Feels to me like the next, next, next step for that should be some kind of Visual Studio Code plugin that basically displays the same information, right? If you're if you're sitting in your Python project on your local laptop, if you're doing uh, editing in Visual Studio Code or IntelliJ or whatever, um, you're gonna click on your pip file log, and you're gonna get this view. Like, uh, hey, uh, we just uh, removed zip because it's not used, and we removed, by the way, char set normalizer because it's not used, or whatever the reason was, so that we have the same information in in a different channel. But again, that's uh, next, next, next version. Right. Isn't that something that we ha could also funnel? Yeah, the uh, Cabochet bot. Kevin, don't we have some kind of um, info in, in Cabochet? So if we open an info in GitHub issue, which just says info, Cabochet will react to that? Um, I think so. I haven't done any work on the info bot, so I'm not sure exactly what that mm. bot does. But... OK. Nice. Cool. Uh, thanks for that, Gage. Any further questions, comments? Thank you.